Hey Cameron, it's your buddy Carl here with your guitar lesson for the week, or your practice part, I guess. So, as we talked about on our last conference, teleconference, whatever you want to call it, um, basically we want to just work on uh, getting the chords to sound properly, and then changing them, taking your hand off, and putting a chord on, taking it off, put it on. So, those are the key things you really want to work on during the week here. So. What I want you to do is to start off with just the one chord here, the D chord. So you remember the D, and again, I'll put it up nice and close again. So did you get your fingers in the right place? So the first finger, this guy, going right here on the third string, just like that. Your second finger going on the first string. So they're both right behind that bar. That, that, you want to get them right behind it, so on that side of it, towards the head. And then your third finger all the way up to here on the second string so that it should look just like that. Okay? What I want you to do is when you've got that in place like you do, you're going to do a strum. You just want to hit, see where I'm hitting? I'm not hitting the top part at all. I just want to hit those strings. If I can hit those three strings like this. See it better here? I want to do it again. It should sound like that. You should hear the note from every string. Okay? So that's what you're going to work on. You're going to work on getting those fingers on, pressing them just hard enough that you get it so that it sounds like. You don't have to do the full strum or anything like that. It's only the work is on getting that D chord to sound right. And if you have enough time and want to play around a bit more, try a different chord. Try the E minor, because that's the easy chord to do. That's the two that are up here, one there and one there, right? Just like that, right in behind the bar. And do the same thing with it. You're just gonna hit those two strings where my fingers are on. So you're gonna go like this. Even with that one, you could actually go a bit more. You can hit the whole top strings, go. It should sound like that when you do it, okay? And then if you really want to get, <laughs> get some extra points, what you're going to do is do it this way. You're going to do that chord, and then you're going to go to the D. And then you're going to do that chord again, and you do it to the D and back and forth until you can change those two just like that back and forth and that will come with time you just got to train your fingers to do what you're telling them to do so I know it goes slow like this and it'll take you a while to get that but that's the just, that's just the lesson for this week. That's what you really want to be practicing on. And um, we will see you again on Thursday. Have yourself a great week. I know I cut off my head here because it's easier to see the guitar doing it this way. So anyway, all the best. Have a good one. Thanks, Cam. We'll see ya.